Hello and back again to the second part of my video about the Mackie control support for Bitwig Studio. And in the second part I want to show you how the script works with the real Mackie control universal device. So what you see on the left are the motor faders. So if you change a channel in in Bitwig, the motor fader will move to the according position and you can also change it the other way around. And um, what you also notice, if you touch a fader, it will automatically select the channel, but you can also select it up there and you can switch through the banks. And if you want to toggle to the effect tracks, you can use the flip button. So here you go to the to the effect and back again. Other functions are, as usual, you have a mute button to mute the channel, you can solo it and you can set the record enable state. With the knobs up there, you can, depending on what mode you are in, the mode is set here, you can change different things. So currently it's, it's set to volume, so everyone changes the volume. And you can change that to track setting. This is indicated here in an assignment one, so now it's a track change. And this means the first one changes the volume, the panorama is changed by the second, and then you have depending on how many sand channels you have, you can modify the sand channel with these ones. And the handy feature is if you click the button, because you can also press it, it's reset to its default value. And what you can also do, you can go to the sand channel where you can change the same sand channel for each channel. The same is for panorama. And you can also, I forgot that, if you have multiple send channels, you can click it multiple times to go to that send channel. What I also did already was here to click on that button. So that one changes if you want to see the, the channel names or if you want to see what is modified by the knobs. If you touch the master fader, you will go into the master mode. There you can also change the panorama and the volume or the master channel. But you have some more functions you can turn off and on uh, the audio engine. So for example, if you want to change uh, the projects, which you can do here. So you see that project, I can now go to the previous one. And in that one, I can turn on the audio engine to use that project. And with that project, I have a polysynth here in the first channel. And what you can see is I can go to device the plug-in device and then I have the possibility, which is also indicated up there, device, uh, is to change this device up here. And you can flip through the different parameter banks with this channel button here. Also here the reset function is working, so if you click it, it resets that parameter. If you're in your plugin and you want to browse for presets, you can click on the user button and then the browser opens up and here you have the browser navigation. So you can navigate your browser with your eight knobs here. The last one changes your presets. You can go through your presets and here you can change the different categories. For example, you can say, I only want to have brass sounds and then you can browse for the brass sounds. And if you want to uh, accept it, you can press the enter button to confirm that and close the browser. If you click on the cancel button, your selection is discarded. Now here you can see uh, we have the transport section on the right here. You can start playback, you can stop the playback and you can move the cursor position, but you can also use a jog wheel to move it. Because there is no scrub mode, I put on a scrub mode as a little handy function, a quick toggle for toggling between track and device editing. And what you can also do is here, these are the normal navigation buttons. So depending on where your cursor is, uh, it does a function. So uh, this is a little bit problematic to use because it depends on the focus, where the focus is in Bitwig. Same is for if you activate zoom, you can zoom, but you also need to have the focus inside of the arrangement, otherwise it will not work. That's the current limitation because 
because the API of Bitwig only allows to do that in such a way. Also, there is a record button to start the arranger recording and you can use it together with the shift button to start clip recording. And there are your automation buttons here on the right and you have several utilities like you can save your project you can undo your last function use it together with shift to redo it and up there you have the option to change different displays for example show your uh, devices here you can go to the devices and so on best thing is to read that up in the documentation in the wiki yeah one thing to show is if we now have a playback Let's go back to the track. You see here the volumes, but you can now toggle between the display or the volume buttons and uh, your, your VU meters. Okay, have fun using the scripts. Have a good day and make some funky music.